Yeah, I think it depends a lot on um, TP53 mutation. And so, um, you know, we really are starting to think about mantle cell lymphoma. Um, you know, we already knew that there was uh, a difference between the classic mantle cell, nodal mantle cell, and the leukemic non-nodal. But I think now we're starting to think about it more in terms of patients with TP53 mutation and patients without TP53 mutation. And I think in the future and going forward, I would hope to see um, clinical trials that are specifically targeted towards this TP53 mutated population, um, or at least power to, um, uh, to tell us something um, about that population. And so in the relapse setting, I think it depends on what patients got initially, but I think for most patients, it's still a BTK inhibitor. Now, um, I think for the TP53 mutated population where, you know, the chemotherapy approaches, even more intensive chemotherapy approaches haven't been very successful, I think you're gonna see um, more attempts to move um, these targeted therapies up front. And so that changes the landscape again for relapse, because if you're using your targeted therapies, such as BTK inhibitors in the frontline setting, um, then, you know, at relapse, um, you have to think about other options. And so I think that's where CAR-T comes in, particularly for this um, TP53 mutated population.